Hello ladies and gentlemen, I welcome to today's edition of Programming Wizards. Today we're going to do a little bit of VB.net. I'm going to show you uh, how to use a background worker, okay? To do the background work or the heavy operation in the background and then update the UI without uh, freezing the user interface and then update the progress bar. So this is what I'm talking about. Like if I click the start button you are seeing we are updating two things at the same time we are updating the progress bar and we are updating the label okay when it finishes it tells me that way then uh, it can also I can also cancel when I cancel I cancel it and it goes okay so this is what we are going to do so please uh, fire up your IDE I'm using v uh, Visual Studio uh, 2013 you can use any so to save time, I've pre-designed my form. You can see it here. You can see I have a background, uh, a progress by mean and a label. Okay. And then two buttons. I also have a, this is a group box. And then in my group box, actually, I've just put some image to make it uh, look a little bit nicer. Okay. So I've called my button start button. This one, a cancel button. Then inside the toolbox, please make sure you also include the background worker just drag it from the toolbox here is mine now after dragging it uh, there's something uh, you can see like when you come to events please check all of this one background worker do work background worker progress change and background worker uh, worker uh, background worker uh, worker completed okay please make sure that uh, you check all of those ones and then also uh, after doing that one make sure that you set this one to true worker report progress true worker supports cancellation true because as of course you want to report progress and of course you want the cancellation so please make sure that uh, those ones are you've set them to true then when you click uh, you can see here uh, once we've brother now it is inside this do work event this is where by this is the place where by the background the heavy operation work shall take place okay then inside this one progress change event this is where uh, the ui will be updated remember you cannot update ui inside here okay you cannot can only update it here so uh, this is where the operation will take place this is where the ui will be updated and then this is where uh, this code will be executed uh, when uh, the work is completed okay now after that one uh, here is our button on click and then the cancel of course and then uh, here is our do heavy uh, method so I've, I've created here a method known as do heavy do heavy work it, it, it shall simulate uh, doing the heavy work and actually what we shall do we shall just use thread dot sleep method and then we shall sleep it for a hundred uh, millis milliseconds this shall uh, uh, represent the heavy operation that we should do after doing that one we shall come to the our do work method then we shall use a for loop for i equal to 0 to 100 okay then uh, what we'll do we'll say if if uh, background worker okay if background worker one dot cancellation pending this is we shall just be checking uh, before we loop through it we shall be checking for every loop we shall be checking if the user has pressed the cancel button okay so just say if uh, background worker one dot cancellation pending equals to true equal true then okay what what, what w then if the user presses the cancel button then of course we shall cancel we shall say e cancel equal to true okay then uh, we shall exit uh, the loop exit for else 
of course uh, after this one now means that uh, the user has not pressed the cancel so we just do uh, the heavy work so we shall come and say uh, do we shall call the method that we created earlier do heavy work and then remember uh, as we do the heavy work we want to report the progress okay so for every loop uh, we shall be reporting the progress we shall be saying uh, background worker one dot report progress then uh sorry inside uh, the report progress method we shall be passing at the integer the i okay so uh, this one shall send the i to the progress change and then we shall inside the progress change this is now where we shall be updating the progress bar so what we shall do we shall say progress bar progress bar one okay dot value equals to e dot progress percentage okay remember it's not only the progress bar that we want to update we also want to update the label so I'll call it a uh, label one dot text equals to e dot percentage we shall convert it to string dot to string and then we shall add the percentage label okay now uh, that is uh, in the progress change event now uh, what about in the run worker complete remember we said that in the run worker completed this event is normally raised uh, when uh, the when the operation is when the when the work is over okay this is the this event is normally raised when the work is over and remember the work can be over in three cases first if the user cancels the work second if there is an error and third if the job gets finished okay so in the first case we shall check if uh, the user cancels so we shall say if e dot cancel equals to true then we shall just display a message box message box dot show cancelled okay after that one uh, of course we will want to uh, set reset the progress bar so I'll say I'll say uh, progress bar one a dot value equals to zero and then a uh, label label one dot text equals to blank that is when the user uh, cancels it what about if there is an error you shall say else if okay now uh, when the error or, or what we shall do we shall say if e dot error if e dot error is not nothing okay then I don't know whether my is not is right it should be capital okay no this is uh, this one we shall be um, th this is in case there is an error what we shall do we shall say message box message box dot show then we shall display the error e dot error dot message 
otherwise uh, if it is not it if it is none of the above then it means that the work is over so what we shall do is we shall uh, display the message box dot show and just say finished our job is over okay that is uh, the run work a uh, run worker completed now remember this one so we just uh, defined uh, we just uh, defined what shall be done but we've not yet executed so what to execute we come to the run worker uh, to the start uh, I mean start button click and then we say uh, background worker background worker one uh, dot run worker async that is how we execute our background worker and what about uh, if the user uh, presses the cancel actually uh, what we shall do uh, before calling the run worker async uh, we want to make sure uh, that the background worker is not busy so we shall say if background worker I'm having problems with my intelligence so uh, if I just have to type manually if background worker no not background image if background worker one I'm never so good at typing if background worker one okay dot is busy so we shall check we shall check uh, if the background worker is busy is true then okay no uh, if it is not busy is when we should we should run this code so instead in fact instead of using if else you can just uh, put that one there then here we come and say if not not background worker is busy equal to true yeah then we come to the cancel now in the cancel we shall also check uh, if the background worker is supported so we say if background worker one if background worker one dot worker supports cancellation okay equal to true then uh, background worker one dot cancel a sync okay that is how we shall cancel our background worker that is in case if if another thread is already if the background work is already running so this uh, let's run our app and see here it is if I click uh, start you can see it okay it's updating uh, both of them okay let's see when it finishes okay nice it finishes now when I start uh, and then I click cancel it tells me cancel then it resets everything okay so guys I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial please if you have uh, you can subscribe to this channel uh, you can comment on this video you can like it and please share it and please uh, take care see you next time